Hello everyone, Dr. Jai Mehta here. In today's class, I am going to be teaching you how and what is important as far as interpretation of endometrial immune profiling reports is concerned. Multiple reports are available. Multiple reports look into multiple factors. Some look into TH1 activity, some look into TH2 activity, others look into endometritis. But today I'm going to be giving you a broad calculated overview of what we do at our unit. Of course, there are certain times where we do add other immune markers, but this is the standard immune profiling report which is done at our hospital. And I thought I will be showing it to each and every one of you so that you can interpret and take sound decisions based on the interpretation of these reports. So friends, this is our typical report which is presented in our hospital. Now, firstly, I want to put a big shout out to our pathologist, Dr. Kiran Thorat. He is one of the nicest guys in and around and he's somebody who really helps us out with all these reports. None of this is possible without him. So a big shout out to him and a big thank you for doing all these things uh, for all of us. Right now, the indication is usually going to be recurrent IVF failures or it is going to be recurrent abortions or it is going to be chronic pelvic pain. Okay, but chronic pelvic pain, we are looking at some things which are slightly different and I'll come to that a little later. All right. Now, how is it done? It is a specimen which is taken from the endometrium. It is a pipel biopsy. Okay, and these are the three important markers which we look at. MUM1, CD56 and BCL6. Now, we also have available options for looking at TH1 is to TH2 ratios. Okay, so we may look at interleukin 8. We may look at tumor necrosis. Uh, factor alpha, we may look at interview in 14, multiple other probes and multiple other kits are available to test in certain selected situations. For a standard situation, number one, number two and number three are more than enough for us. Okay, so there is a special medium which is used by us in order to take and transport this biopsy and this medium is manufactured by us in our hospital premises and once manufactured, the reporting is sent to the pathologist for reporting. Now, here is where it gets interesting. Now, just look at this report. If MUM1 is more than 10 per high power field, it is considered to be significant. BCS 6 X score of more than 1.4 is significant. And here, if there are more than 20 percentage of uterine natural killer cells in the reporting, it is considered to be a significant report. Simultaneously, we do not just analyze this. Along with this, we strongly look at the ultrasound report of the patient. We strongly look at the age of the patient and we look at a lot of other previous clinical embryological or abortive history. That is critically important for you to interpret this report. We cannot be just looking at one report and saying, Achha, hai, bas ho gaya. a gross estimation of the entire clinical parameters of the patient is to be considered before you give a reporting clinically to the patient. Now the clinical reporting for any of these reports can be either to give antibiotics to the patients or it can be to give any form of immune therapy to the patients, right? One of the two. Immune therapy usually is going to be in the form of either interlipids or in the form of acrolimus or it is in the form of steroids or it is in the form of thymosin alpha. The antibiotics which we give is usually going to be cyanomycin or it is based on culture. Now, as a patient, please remember, this is the overview which I wanted to present to you so that you understand what is this report, how it will help you and when it is done, right? As a patient, after understanding this brief design, please understand that you need to go and consult a reproductive immunologist. Do not try to take these decisions on the basis of interpretation of a single video. A comprehensive interpretation goes into this and then the patient is provided the estimated benefits, the estimated pros and the estimated disadvantages. And after that, any form of therapy is started on the patient. Many a times we may combine this investigation along with the HLA typing report as well. And this is something which you should know. Any further questions, please post it in the comments and me and my team will be happy to get back to you.